Hey internet people! In the last video, we learned how to generate the same AI character in different poses and vibes using Focus. If you missed it, no worries, it's linked below. And today, we're stepping things up, we're gonna learn how to actually edit those AI images, add styles using LoRa models, and upscale them to high-res masterpieces. Let's get started! Alright, let's talk about in painting. In painting basically means editing part of an image, you can change outfits, fix weird generations, or even add props like glasses, tattoos, or a whole new background without regenerating the whole image. Let's get into it. To get started, open Focus and first check the Input Image checkbox. Then click on the In Paint slash Out Paint tab, that's where the magic happens. Now, load up any image you want to edit, maybe one of your previous generations you want to improve or modify. I've loaded this beautiful pirate girl I generated earlier, now let's edit it a bit. First, let's update her clothing a bit. I'm going to increase the brush size to cover more area, it makes it easier to mask. Now let's draw the mask over her outfit, just a quick swipe over the top area we want to change. Okay, now we'll update the prompt. I'll add short top, bare belly, athletic abs, and that's it. Click the generate button and let Focus do its thing. It might take a moment the first time because it needs to download the in painting model in the background. And there we go. You can see we got an amazing result that matches the prompt perfectly. The face is still consistent, and the outfit change looks clean and natural. Now let's experiment with another image and try something different. Alright, here's the second image we're working with. This time, let's add a bit of glam. We're going for a makeup update. I'll brush over the eyes, and in the prompt, I'll add dramatic smoky eye makeup, glitter. Let's hit generate, and wait for the magic to happen. Amazing result, right? Now let's take it a step further. We're giving her a tattoo. I'll drag this updated image down below, then mask this area right here. And in the prompt, I'll add floral tattoo on chest. Let's hit generate and wait for the result. We're really transforming this girl now, one detail at a time. Look at that result. Awesome, right? All right, let's go for one last epic update. This time, we're changing both her hairstyle and her outfit. Let's mask the areas we want to update. Now I'll add the prompt. Lavender curly hair, wearing a cyberpunk jacket. Hit generate, and let's check out the final look. And there we go. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be that accurate, especially with such a small prompt. We've officially taken our innocent girl and transformed her into a full-on cyber emo queen. That's the power of in painting. Small changes, big personality. All right, that wraps up the in painting section. You've seen how it works. Now it's your turn to get creative. Experiment, have fun and transform your characters however you like. Now, let's talk about Laura. And no, I'm not talking about someone's name. Laura stands for Low Rank Adaptation. It's a powerful way to fine-tune your generations using custom styles or specific characters. Basically, it lets Focus borrow the style, face, or vibe of a trained model, like a certain anime character, game character, or even a fashion aesthetic. So let's get started and create some pre-trained magic with Laura. So, let's download the Laura we're going to use. I'm going with a character Laura this time, and trust me, these work amazingly well. 
We'll head over to the Civit AI website, and in the search bar, type in the character you want. I'm looking for Hinata Huga from Naruto. Boom, there she is. Now on the left-hand side, let's filter by Laura under the model type. And super important, make sure to filter by the base model you're using. I'm using Illustrious, so I'll select that in the filters. If you're using SDXL or any other model, you can filter out compatible LORAS for that specifically. All right, let's download it. Once it's downloaded, we will add it in our LoRa folder. Now we'll fire up Focus and see the magic. Okay, here we are inside Focus. First, let's head into Advanced Options and choose our base model. I'm using the Amix Illustrious model, which is amazing for anime style generations. I'll drop all the model and LoRa links I'm using in the description below, so check those out. Now, let's load our downloaded LoRa. You'll find it in the drop-down menu right here. For weight, I'm using just one for now. That's enough to get solid results. Next, we need to add the trigger words before our custom prompt. You can copy the trigger words directly from the LoRa page on Civit AI. Once that's in, I'll type in the custom scene I want. In this case, at the beach, full body swimsuit. All right, everything's set. Let's hit generate and see what Focus gives us. See that? Now we can generate almost any scenario featuring Hinata Huga just by using her LoRa file. It's like having a trained AI version of the character ready to drop into any setting, pose, or outfit you want. As we're talking about outfits, I just got an idea. Let's try using two LoRa files together, one for the character and one for the outfit. This way, we can keep the identity of Hinata Huga but dress her up in a completely different style, like a gothic outfit or a school uniform. All right, let's head over to the Civit AI model download page. First, make sure to filter by Laura and select your base model. In my case, it's illustrious. Next, under the clothing tab, we can browse all the outfit Laura's available. I'm going to download a nun outfit. Yeah, we're about to give Hinata Huga a pretty wild transformation. Okay, I've already moved the new LoRa file into the LoRa folder, just like we did earlier. Now let's fire up Focus. First, I'll select my base model. I'm still using the Amix Illustrious model. Next, let's load the Hinata Huga character LoRa and set the weight to 1.0. Then, I'll load the Nun Outfit LoRa we just downloaded and set the weight to 0.9 for a nice balance. Now in the prompt, I'll first add the trigger words for the Hinata Laura, then the asterisk trigger for the outfit Laura. Let's spice it up with a little scene. I'm adding embarrassed expression, holding a candle. All set? Let's hit generate and see how she turns out. And there she is, Hinata in a full nun outfit just like we prompted. Look at the details, the expression, the outfit, the candle. It all came together perfectly. Combining two LoRa's really gives you creative control. From anime characters to custom outfits, you can literally build any scene you imagine. All right, that's it for the LoRa section. You've seen how to download, load, and combine LoRa files to create some incredible custom generations. Now let's head over to our last topic, upscaling. This is where we take our already amazing image and make it sharper, clearer, and perfect for sharing or printing. Okay, I'll be quick with upscaling. First, we'll select the Input Image checkbox. Then under the Upscale or Variation section, we'll load the image we want to upscale. Now, select Upscale 2x from here. This will double the resolution while keeping the details sharp. Before hitting Generate, head to the Advanced Options tab. Make sure to uncheck Random Seed and set the seed value to zero. This ensures the image doesn't change during upscaling. All right, let's hit Generate and wait for the magic.
Okay. The image is upscaled. You can clearly see the difference in resolution between the original and the upscaled version. The details are sharper, and everything just looks more polished. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Next time, I'll be diving into Forge Web UI with the Flux image generation model, so don't miss that. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And if you're stuck or not getting something, just drop a comment. I'll be there to help you out.